Okay, today we're going to solve the in-class problem. And this in-class problem, you have it it's on a blackboard. So check blackboard and you see it. It says in-class problem number 16. It says uh, magnetism. So it talks about an electron is accelerated from rest by a potential difference of 350 volt. So we write here V, okay, or delta V is equal to 350 volt. So this is the voltage. Now it says it then enters the uniform magnetic field of magnitude 200 millitesla. So the B field B is equal to 200 millitesla. So here is the electron. It's going with the velocity V. We make it going to the left. And then the, elect uh, the magnetic field is coming out of the board. It's perpendicular. Here is the velocity. Here is the B field. The B field is coming up from the paper. And the velocity is going to the left. Now what's going to happen? A force is going to be created. Uh, and that force, I put here F is equal to Q V cross B. So this force is equal to minus E V cross B. So this force here is this force here we can put here F is equal to E B cross V. The same thing, you see this minus sign when I multiply by the cross product, it, it, it switch that like it switch the the order of the velocity with the magnetic field. So now I think the best way to do the right hand rule is to use this equation here because I can keep the minus sign, I do V cross B and then. I look at my thumb which way it's going and then because I have this negative sign I flip the, the thumb if it was going up the thumb will be going down if it was the thumb was going to the left we put the ne negative sign it will be going to the right so let's see which direction the force goes so we used to we need to use the right hand rule so look at the velocity is going to the left so my fingers, they're going to follow the velocity. So I go like this. You see? My fingers are following the velocity. Now look at the magnetic field. The magnetic field is pointing up. So my fingers, they're going to rotate up to work like that. You see that my fingers are coming up? And look at my thumb. You see my thumb is going up. Uh, my thumb is going up. So since it's electron, we have to flip the thumb. So... My thumb should be coming down, so the velocity, the, so the force should be pointing down. So the force is pointing down like that. So the electron is gonna go like that. And if we have a, a huge magnetic field here all over this area, the electron actually will make a circle. Will circle. So that's what's gonna happen. But for question A, they ask us to find the velocity. We need to find the velocity. This velocity, we can get it from the energy. So we can do conservation of energy. You see that voltage gave the energy to the electron. So we can put here U. This is the energy given to the electron. I put the charge E times the voltage. Now the charge is negative, but I'm looking at just the I'm looking at the uh, magnitude of the energy because the kinetic energy is positive, and this energy actually is equal to the kinetic energy. So I need to make this one positive. So this energy that's produced by the push of the voltage given to the electron, um, that energy will be equal to the kinetic energy of the electron. This is the mass of the electron. That's this is the kinetic energy of the electron. So now we can find the velocity from here. So V is equal 
2, E, V over M, and then I take the square root. Now, here, I can just put the numbers. So if I put here, this will give me 2 times 1.6 times 10 to minus 19. This is Coulomb times the voltage, which is 350 volt. And this is divided by the mass, 9.11 times 10 to minus 31. And then I put here kilogram. If you do this in your calculator, you get 1.1 times 10 to minus 2, 7. Uh, 10 to 7 meters per second. So this is the velocity of the electron. You can see that it's this velocity is less than the speed of light. So we're okay. We're safe. Now, we need to answer question B. In question B, it says find the radius of its path in the magnetic field. The radius of the of the electrons path so the electron is gonna go like this circle so we need to find the radius r of this electron going around so we can apply newton's law so we come over here and put m a is equal to e v b this is the f magnetic force and this is the uh, uh, newton's second law now since the electron is circling this a here is v square over r so we put m v square over r this is a centripetal force is equal to e v b cancel the velocity and then we can find the radius the radius is equal to m v over r m v radius m v over e b let me, uh, I got out of the page, so I put here, the radius is equal to m, radius is equal to mv over e b. Now, r, r here, if I, let me go up here, r is equal to, we have the mass, the mass we have is it's here. We have the velocity, it's here. Okay, we have the charge, charge of the electron is here. We have the B field, it's the B field is here. The B field, actually the B field, they gave it to us, is 200 millitesla. That's the B field. So, if you plug the mass, the velocity, the charge, the B field, you get this value. 3.13 times 10 minus 4 to minus 4 meters. This is equal to 0.313 millimeters. This is the radius. So, here is the answer to part B, that's the radius. And here is the answer to part A, that's the velocity. Okay?